Defense wins championships. The only way to form a formidable defense is by having a solid foundation, and that's by building it through the draft. Here are some phenomenal defensive rookie players that will shock the NFL this season. The best place to start is right at the top. The number one guy selected in the entire draft was edge defender Trayvon Walker by the Jacksonville Jaguars. The 6'5", 275-pound offense killer from Georgia spent three years in college honing his craft, where he had a total of 33 tackles, 9.5 sacks, and 13 tackles that resulted in yards lost. He is a big and long-run stopper. He is an excellent student of the game, and he knows how and when to create leverage when going up against offensive linemen that are 50 to 100 pounds heavier than he is. His technique is equally impressive. He's got powerful hands to create separation and transfers most of his power from hips to hand to create an overwhelming force that lifts the opponent's pad. Trayvon Walker has so much in his arsenal that it's no wonder he's considered as the top prospect in the draft. His power and ability to stack and release for tackles near his gaps is unprecedented in a rookie. Above all, he doesn't go down because he knows how to stay on his feet, but he is not without flaw. No one in the NFL is, and in Trayvon Walker's case, it's about speed. Mainly, the burst of speed when he is in space. He will struggle to catch up to a player if they run to the outside. He's also deemed to be lethargic when getting from move to move, which is again an issue of speed and quickness. He is so powerful, though, that it's obvious that movement and quickness would be the issues hampering him. But Trayvon Walker is undeniably a behemoth of a defensive player. But will he be able to make a significant impact in the NFL? Is Trayvon Walker the best defender from this rookie class? To have a clearer understanding, let's look at another edge defender selected fifth overall by the New York Giants, Kayvon Thibodeau. The 6'5", 250-pound edge rusher spent three years in Oregon, where he dominated the defensive landscape. In total, he recorded 126 tackles, 35 and a half of which were for a loss, and 19 sacks. Those numbers are far greater than those produced by Trayvon Walker, and there isn't the excuse that Thibodeau played so many more games than Walker, which happened to be just one game more. A lot can happen in one game, but not to the point where Thibodeau has 10 sacks more than Walker, which is more than double. What makes Thibodeau such an exciting prospect is his overall game, which is fueled by power. It is an internal drive to be the best to dominate the field, which separates Kayvon Thibodeau from the rest of the defenders. It's an intangible skill that cannot be coached, but that is extremely valued in the NFL. Thibodeau is a long, strong, and explosive player who plays hard on every snap. His initial movement off the snap is fast, furious, and determined. His speed to consistently reach the opposition is unparalleled. Thibodeau uses his whole body to generate power so that his hands are firm and heavy when going against opposition linemen. Thibodeau has all the makings of an incredible force that will shock the NFL this season, but he does have a few limitations. He has yet to develop a natural instinct in edge position, which will take some time to nurture and drill. Thibodeau also lacks play recognition, which is a big factor that can be rectified with time. But it goes back to his inability to be a natural student of the game. Nevertheless, he is an elite athlete that has a considerable amount of talent and physical prowess that should dominate the landscape. But is he the most dominant defensive athlete in the draft? Does anyone match up to Thibodeau? To answer, we need to look first at other defensive positions, starting with the cornerbacks. With the third overall pick in the NFL 2022 draft, the Houston Texans selected cornerback Derek Stingley Jr., who played his college ball at LSU. In his freshman year, the 6'1", 195-pound corner played 15 games, recorded 38 tackles, and had six interceptions. The numbers dipped after that due to injury, where he only played 10 games in the following couple of years. But don't be persuaded by the numbers. Derek Stingley Jr. is a uniquely gifted athlete who was a rare blend of size, speed, and explosiveness. It is the triple threat combination that every NFL coach looks for in his cornerbacks. It is also the reason why Derek Stingley Jr. is considered to be one of the best athletes in the entire 2022 NFL draft class. His quickness is not only a physical attribute, but also a mental one. He anticipates outbreaking routes and looks to undercut any given opportunity. Stingley Jr. reads the game so well that he doesn't even pick up on a coverage. He has the recovery speed to make amends for his lapse in judgment. 
but when it comes to his physical ability, it's a whole other category of greatness and amazement. Derek Stingley Jr. is a springy leaper with fast reactive hands to dominate contested balls, so when he's going up against a wide receiver, he has the will and the skill to take him down. A rare athlete that hasn't been seen in the draft since Sean Springs back in the 1997 NFL Draft, who, like Stingley Jr., was selected third overall. But like any athlete, there are flaws residing in Derek Stingley Jr.'s game. The main and most obvious one is game time. He has only played 10 games over the last two seasons. It is tough not to overlook that fact, and there are concerns that he might be injury prone. But make no mistake that Derek Stingley Jr. is an incredible athlete. Still, is he the best cornerback emerging from the 2022 NFL Draft? Well, let's look at a cornerback selected fourth overall in the NFL 2022 draft by the New York Jets, Ahmad Sauce Gardner. The 6-foot, 2-inch, 188-pound cornerback played his college ball with Cincinnati, where he featured in 33 games across three seasons. He has the most consistent numbers from a college athlete in living memory where he had three interceptions per year and a total of 99 tackles, which is averaging 33 tackles per year. Now you would think that he would go for the number 3 jersey or maybe even number 33, but he's wearing number 1. That's because he is considered to be the number 1 cornerback in this draft class. A long, lean, and linear cornerback who has the delectable blend of confidence and competitiveness. Ahmad Gardner wants the receivers to know that they don't stand a chance when going up against him. The confidence comes from his natural ability. His speed is tremendously frightening as he doesn't stop from the moment the snap is taken to the whistle being blown. His hands are quick and agile, which makes him a threat to all quarterbacks. No one would want to throw the ball his way out of fear. Gardner is also a scholar of the game. He reads the plays well and has great anticipation as to where and when the receiver might cut or break off. He is an outstanding defender who, of course, has some minor flaws that he would need to take care of before becoming an elite player. The main issue is his on-field discipline. He gets called for a lot of interference and holding calls. But despite all that, Gardner is a remarkable athlete. But is he the best defensive rookie emerging from the 2022 draft class? Aiden Hutchinson would have something to say about it. The edge defender selected number two overall by the Detroit Lions is the highest graded defensive rookie prospect in the entire NFL, and his numbers in college back it up. The 6'6", 265-pound colossal athlete played for Michigan for four years, and in his senior year, he recorded 14 sacks. That's more than Trayvon Walker and Kayvon Thibodeau combined. Now, to add to his sack total, Aiden Hutchinson had 62 tackles, which again is more than Walker and Thibodeau. There is no doubting that Hutchinson has the skill and physical trait to be a domineering force in the NFL, but what separates him from the rest is his determination and commitment to the sport. He's got the mindset to be an overwhelming force. Hutchinson can't stop, won't stop attitude makes him a leader in the making. There are some minor issues of his game that need to be sorted out, like his incapacity to counter more quickly when he's grappling an offensive lineman and how he plays the game in pieces rather than a continuous flow. But Aiden Hutchinson is a pass rusher who quarterbacks will fear and an athlete who will shock the NFL world with his prowess, speed, and intelligence. So who do you have as the best defensive rookie from the 2022 NFL Draft? Which one stands out? Please let us know in the comments down below.